So glad you could join us tonight, Rocky Phoenix. I asked you to come here tonight. That's not right. Rocky, we go back a long time. We were in multiple feds together, MUW, DPWA before. Nah, that's not the right approach. Not the right approach. Let's see here. Rocky Phoenix. Rocky, if you were here right now. Oh, no, that's not a nice eater. I'm sorry. Rocky Phoenix. Rocky Phoenix. We're here to talk about your tenure as the director of authority. You see, Rocky Phoenix, I have some issues with some things that I saw while I was on my little break to end last season. <clears throat> and... What the hell are you doing? Who are you talking to? Uh, you weren't supposed to be here yet. I was, uh, uh, nothing, man. How you doing, man? Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. You found the place all right? Absolutely. Uh, uh, I don't know the... Uh, yeah, go ahead and have a seat. I don't know the best way to do this, so I'm going to try to be as professional as I can. How's so, the uh, I, I, I think you should sit down. I, I really think you should sit down. I mean, because I, I've, I've, you, you caught me. I was preparing to say something to you, and now that you're here, I just I think it's better for I'll have a seat, too, and we'll just get this in. Yeah. So did you have a good Christmas? Good, good holidays? Sure. I don't really give a fuck. Anyway. Uh, I kind of left the BEWA in a, in a hurry last August. And because I had a lot of stuff going on, you know, Roland Havoc attacking me, piece of shit doing what they did. I had a lot of stresses. So I appointed you as the director of authority, and you ran the federation for the final 8 to 12 shows, whatever it is, for the rest of the year. And it is now January. I've had a couple of months since Fatal Finale to really go over the film and the shows and everything that happened. And after giving it a lot of thought and consideration, I think it's better, best for all parties if I go ahead and exercise my right to terminate the agreement. So Rocky Phoenix, on behalf of BWA, we would like to wish you the best in your future endeavors. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Why? What reasons do you have? What justification do you have to Just get rid of me as the DOA? You dropped the ball, you quit, you ran away, I took over. You can't understand the stress I was under. You, you can't understand what it was like to try to get drowned in my own bathtub, to have everybody do their thing, to have Reaper put the title on the line against Havoc when they, all he had to do was not do it. But you allowed it. Yeah, yeah, I gave Reaper a chance. And since Reaper showed such poor judgment to end his BWA tenure, that's why I didn't pick him to run the company while I was gone. But if you need reasons as to which why I want to fire you as DOA, let's uh, bring up some of your decision making while I was gone this past year. Let's go. Number one, the Ascension Tournament. Each year, 16 BWA superstars get an opportunity to be entered in a single elimination tournament where the winner gets a top title shot at Fatal Finale. Damian Fatale loses to Mark Williams, gets eliminated from the tournament, and then you put him back into the tournament, and next thing we know, we have a guy who lost the tournament, come back into the tournament, and win the whole tournament. Your thoughts? Well, I don't know if you were sipping on my tides over in the Poconos, or wherever you were, but did you see how that match ended with Mark Williams? Did you, did you see what happened? Team POS running in, as soon as the bell rings, jumping Damien. Was that fair? No, it wasn't fair. But what do you do? This is wrestling. That happens sometimes. You can't, can you put everybody back in the tournament that, that got cheated? Can you throw people back in the brawl for all match? They, no, you can't. But then you have Matt Armada, who gets taken out of the tournament, who can't make it. So who do you replace Matt Armada with? The smart choice was Damien, who already got screwed. And to my recollection, Damien was already screwed before the Ascension Tournament started. And he clips. Yeah, I remember. I was in the ring and I kind of did it. Uh, you could have gave whoever was facing Armada a bye. Yeah, like a bye. Who bye wants to see a bye? Uh, it, BWA, we want to see action. We want to see two people in the ring competing. And that's what I delivered. 
Oh, you know what? That's somewhat. I, 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 all right, all right, all right. I get it, kind of. You know, you did the right thing. You did me a fatal. I got screwed pretty bad. But how about this mess? I've been running the BWA for four years and over, and I've never seen some mess like this. Fatal finale, our biggest show at the end of the year. BWA championship match. Who's going to challenge Rolling Havoc? Do you have a tournament to decide? Do you have a number one contenders match? Do you have anything? You just award somebody and name somebody a number one contender? I've never heard of that. What the what the fuck was that all about? Jacob Practice deserved it. Rolling Havoc had been messing with Jacob Practice since damn near legacy, running around, beating up Ronald Scott, who's Jacob's friend, beating you up, beating up everyone he could think of. Jacob was a little afraid of him throughout the year, but as I saw Jacob start to progress through the season, he won the piece of Rolling Havoc. And Roland Havoc, I believe, his reign of terror, you couldn't stop it. I believe I stopped it. I threw Jacob Practice in there. I did the right thing. I put the right person in there to do the job, and that's what happened. I got the job done. It got Roland Havoc away from the title. You did, and I fired him. So, I guess that's somewhat forgivable as well, now that I've actually talked to you about it. But, all right, let's talk about some of your more direct decisions involving you personally. How is it, when I look at Fatal Finale, I see a match between yourself and Reaper, and the supposed thing on the line is control of the company? How do you put control of the company on the line against Reaper if you're merely the director of authority? Maybe you hadn't arrived to the building yet at that point, you didn't see what really went down. First of all, I didn't even want the match. I, de I declined the match on two or three different occasions. I was forced into taking that match with Reaper. Now, if you got a problem with that, maybe you should talk to Reaper yourself. <laughs> but as far as I recall, I never made the stipulation for the match. I was jumped from behind, knocked out cold with I don't know what it was, and then Reaper forced my hand to sign a contract of nothing. I didn't even know what it was until I woke up. So how's that my fault? What kind of company is this for? Things can happen when people sign things against their will, against their unbeknownst. But yeah, yeah, that sounds like a really good setup. But let me ask you this. That same match you had no idea what was going to happen. How do you get the man Elric of all people to interfere on your behalf and take out Reaper? I hate that guy. I had nothing at all to do with you Elric. You hate Elric. I hate Elric. You hate him. I hate him. Matter of fact, it, every time the man comes out, you hear the Eldick chance. I started that. I hate the man. I had nothing at all to do with him coming out there. I don't know why he came out there. I've never lied to the people. I've never lied to the BW roster. I've always straight arrowed it. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. <sighs> Damn. You say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. Look, let's just face, face facts. Excuse me. You couldn't run the company as good as I did. It was clear I had to come back when I did. The Federation was falling apart, and it might have ended. It might have ended the year four, but I came back and I whoa, said... Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that's the problem. I think... See, you normally, Mr. Bomber, sit high and mighty on your high horse, and you think that the BWA can't survive without you. BWA can't go on. And you dropped the ball and ran out the back door crying and quit. And the BWA prospered. It went on. We made money. We booked shows. We continued on. We went to Fatal Finale. You didn't need to be at Fatal Finale. Now, I, I'm very appreciative of your help at Fatal Finale when Team POS was beating the shit out of me. But we can survive without you. The BWA did not need you. And that is what you're upset about, is that we continued on without you. The BEWA doesn't need Chris Bomb. I have heard some shit. <laughs> Obviously, this man's lost his fucking mind. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's coming here with a bunch of nonsense. So, now that I've officially heard your side of the story, heard why you made all the fucked up decisions that you did, and how you've accused me of thinking that the, uh, the Fed's not going to go on without me, ladies and gentlemen, I have to do what's best for the Federation. You, you've heard it. Evidence speaks for itself. Rocky Phoenix is no longer Director of Authorities in the BEWA. But come year five, let me tell you what's coming year five. I'm going to run everything. I'm going to control everything. The Federation's going to be better than ever. You're welcome. Whoa, 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 whoa. I tell you what, then. Bomber, 
Before I leave your house, I got a challenge for you. Since you think that the BWA can't survive without you, obviously, and you think you're a better booker, owner, whatever you want to call it, you're not the DOA, I'm the DOA. Well, apparently I'm not anymore since you fired me, but you're welcome. How about a challenge? How about we take the roster, and you give me half the roster, you take half, I'll run Warfare, you run Chaos, let's let the BWA people decide who is more fit to run the BWA, since this is about the BWA and not me and you. But by splitting the company and putting the in charge of one of them, you're making it about you and me. You want me to trust you with Warfare, the original show of the BWA. You want me to trust you with half of the BEWA wrestlers. And I'm supposed to run chaos, perfect, amazing, and warfare is supposed to be some fucking cesspool where truants get shots at titles they don't deserve, and people get re-added to brawl for alls even though they're on the way to hot. I can't even picture it. And you think this is what the people want? The fans, the wrestlers, everybody involved? If you're afraid, you can just do what you did. At the end of the clip, a you just quit. <laughs> you can walk out the door. You sandbagging son of a bitch. You think I'm scared. They think I'm scared. You know what? You got yourself a deal. Consider yourself the official general manager of BEWA Warfare. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a week. We're going to convene in one week's time. We're going to sit down. And we're going to have ourselves a draft. You pick a dude, I pick a dude, and then we'll draft our own rosters, and we will go from there. You're on. It's a deal. I'll see you next week. All right. Biggest mistake you ever made. Forgive the house. I live with a real piece of shit. We'll see you next week at the draft. <laughs>